I am coming on midweek today to show you some new items I just listed in my Etsy store. As you know, I like to preserve my Friday slot for a process video and a new video will be up in just a couple of days for you on Friday. But for today, this will be a show and tell and all these items are available to all of you if you reside in the United States. My shop is still not set up for international uh, sales, so sorry. Either way, I hope you will enjoy this little video. Many of the items I have made during my process videos, but there are also some new ones. So I hope you find it enjoyable. Even if you're not one of my buyers, maybe you can garner some new ideas and inspiration. So let me get started. I piled everything up here on my table, so I'm going to start with the things which are closest to me. I have two bottles here, which you actually seen me do in some of my videos. This one is all about the four elements. It has some uh, watercolor paintings on all the four sides. Great texture. It has a copper chain, it has a tiny bottle, some charms and a tiny little booklet with a closure. So this one is going to be available and so will be this one here. This one actually has a top that opens and closes again so it can be used as an actual bottle. It has a chain with some pretty beads. It has this bulldog design, wings, crown. It has a key with a little clock on the bottom. Is nicely textured all over a bit in a teal color anyway all the details will of course be in my listings in my store so there are two bottles another thing I also have listed are these sets of uh, tins I decorated as you remember these are old I think these were uh, tea tins, so they're very clean inside. They can still be used for kitchen items or for um, gift boxes or keepsake boxes. And there's a set of two with little legs, so these will be up. And off camera I made a second set. These tins are a little bit smaller. They're coffee tins. Again, they're very clean inside, have a nice snug fit. And I decorated these with this nice fabric netting. It also has a little wooden knob in the middle. It has small little wooden feet and the netting goes all around and there are also some flowers with some really nice uh, glass cabochons in the middle. As uh, you see the coloration is mostly blue with a little bit of copper. So again there is a set of two and these will be available as well. So those are a bit in a steampunkish style, although very mild. And so is this one. This is something a little bit uh, different to me. I don't usually work with unicorns, but I found this really nice uh, metal emblem of a unicorn. And so I thought, why not do something flowery and girly? Someone, um, adult or child, uh, might really like this. So it has all kinds of fabric flowers. It also has a big piece of jewelry in the middle, as you can see. Even the frame is textured. And the colors are between purple and pink and teal. There are some unpainted tiny teal flowers as well. There are tiny little beads in there. So this is a great piece to decorate any little girls or big girls uh, bedroom or uh, corner and here on the back it has a hanger and it's nicely cleaned up as a piece of fabric uh, teal edge here on the sides so there's this one now I had worked on my videos I think I have showed how I made one or two of these and then the others I did off camera. Anyway, these are four plaques I made. They are in a mixed media assemblage style and they have all kinds of unique uh, features. A lot of recycled materials, there is jewelry, there are pins and all of them have a great texture. So there's this one with the frog. Uh, then there's this one with the silver bird. Each one of these has some unpainted items. Oh yes, this one has all the beads here. And then there's this one 
which has this little shelf with these two cute little blue uh, bottles and some cabochons. And then there's this one. It has a full clock face and a chain going around. So they each uh, are of course the completely different colors. Uh, two are a bit larger, two are a bit smaller. Anyway, these are listed in my store. And then I have boxes, lots of boxes. There's this one, it has a magnetic closure. It's a strong magnet, a very nice clean inside. This one is the one with the hummingbird and the flowers. Nice texture all around, little buttons, nice clean craft paper on the bottom. So this one is listed and so is this one. It's the same type of box, again magnetic closure. It has a little dangle of a full clock, same clean inside. And then here it has a lot of metal components including these little uh, chains that hang just loosely. You can see a key and there's an owl, all kinds of things. And then of course this opening with the netting and the big chain going across. And the sides too is very textured. Alright, so there's box number two. Oops. And then there's box number three. You might remember this. I did this in the video a while back. It has some very pretty handmade paper as a background. These little black um, owls, these were wooden uh, die cuts. I painted the branch. It has really a lot of little micro beads just to give it that texture and that special something. It's a nicely shaped box. And here on the inside, I have the same paper and it has a mirror on the top. So again, it can be used to keep all kinds of keepsakes. And of course, the same goes for the other two boxes. It could be gift boxes, it could be for cosmetics, it could be for jewelry. And then I have another one of these boxes with the closure. It's pretty square, this one. It's plain black on the inside, very clean out and in. And this is a bit of a steampunk style. It has these puzzle pieces which show uh, gears, lots of gears, uh, springs. There are little teal cabochons on it. It has a lot of texture. I created this fabric and I believe this was cheesecloth in the back. There's texture paste. There are some real uh, rusted little pieces of metal on it. So a nice combination of uh, things that give it that steampunk flair. So there's box number four. And then I also have some new books. You remember my infinite journals. The books I make from uh, book covers. They have pages that come out because uh, um, the binding is made with an elastic string. So I put them in my shop. It's about 40 variety pages, but of course they can be taken out. They can be replaced and refilled. Now these have a fabric inside, a ribbon closure. And for this I used one of my paintings. Now you might remember me making this. It's an acrylic painting of a rainbow tree. So it made a really beautiful book cover on this one. And then I had a second painting which were roses and it made a great cover on here. This one has a black spine which has a bit of lace on it. It also has a ribbon closure and again a fabric inside and again variety pages that can be taken out. So those two will be available as well. And then I have two art journals. They are, both look the same <laughs> when I started with them. Um, they are actually made by Arteza. They have usually a craft paper cover and black pages and then they're made to be decorated. So I did this one not so long ago. You might remember it has great texture here. It has this pretty silhouette, the word art, and the background is covered in this designer paper with all these numerals. And you can see that also here on the inside and on the back. And these come with these uh, black uh, ribbons too to close it. And it has a lot, I think it's about 40 pages, of this very thick, very smooth black craft paper. 
and it has a spiral binding as you can see. So this is available in my store. And then the second one uh, started out the <laughs> same as that. Uh, this one I decorated quite a few months ago. Here I added a frame and a jelly print in the middle. And then this is this really nice textured fabric uh, netting. And I sewed on some handmade paper beads. A lot of teal on this one. And here the background was covered by decoupaging old pieces of book pages. And it got uh, some distressing on it. And they're both sealed. And again it has the ribbon closure and the black pages. Oops, and now everything falls. Now it's okay. Got stuck. <laughs> so those were the books I had. And then I have two more bigger pieces. This one is listed. This is my dome. Let's see if I can go out a little bit so you can see this a little better. Boop. Boop. That's it. That's as far as it goes. So this is the dome I made not so long ago. It has a great texture. I used the bandage fabric on it which stiffens really hard. It has jewelry on it here on the top and right here. And then of course I can take this off and it has this little castle and that comes off too and there is a tea light which of course turns on and so you have some light in your castle. Oops, I hope you can see it. Alright, and the foot here I can show you as well. Uh, the fabric goes further to the bottom. It's decorated with all kinds of little doodads, broken jewelry, pieces from watches and you name it. And it has the same design here on the bottom, just on one side, kind of spiraling around. And then it has this really neat little spider hanging. It's a jewelry piece with a few little stones in it. So this one will be available. Let me turn off the light so it doesn't completely run out. And then another thing I will have in my shop is this big clock piece here. And I think you might remember me making this as well. It has this great owl on the top with wings, lots of texture, lots of texture here with a nice closure. There are all kinds of interesting bits and pieces, jewelry pieces, gears, keys, and again uh, some of that uh, puzzle I used on one of the other boxes with the gears. Uh, the other side the same. Here you can see an old fashioned pen tip. There is uh, our hand from a big clock, more jewelry and so on. The back is very clean and this clock works. It holds time and here on the inside it has some metal uh, decorations here. Again more of the puzzle. It has some gears and it has this butterfly and a magnet. So he moves around. You can take him off. You can make him fly. And so this one is also available in my store. So I think that's just about 20 pieces. I'm still working on listing more, but I think I will go ahead with this. So when you see this video, uh, these listings are all active and each one of these items are available for you. Below, of course, I will post the link to my Etsy store. There are already uh, 30 other pieces in the store, so there is quite a large variety there for you to look through. I hope you find something you like and I hope you enjoyed this little video. Thank you so much for coming and I will talk to you soon again. Or oh, before I go, I am also planning within the next week or two to do a de-stash of my art room and those items will also be available in my store under the de-stash section and I might remind you about it when I'm ready in one of my other videos. All right, I think that's really all I had. I see you really soon on Friday in just a few days and have a wonderful day and bye bye for now.